When we think of luxury, our minds often conjure images of sprawling mansions, gleaming yachts, and perhaps a private jet soaring across the horizon. For a select few, like Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, these dreams are a tangible reality. From record-breaking art acquisitions to palaces that could rival those in fairy tales, Prince Salman's lifestyle is a fascinating spectacle. It's a world that feels both alluring and distant, a stark contrast to everyday realities. Welcome to Daily Lifestyle with Celebrities. The allure of luxury is a powerful force. It speaks to our deepest desires for comfort, security, and perhaps even a touch of envy-inducing grandeur. For many, a luxury is a symbol of success, a tangible representation of hard work and ambition. In Prince Salman's case, his luxurious lifestyle is intricately tied to his position of power and the legacy of the Saudi royal family. Born into a life of privilege, Prince Salman's extravagant possessions are not merely indulgences, but rather extensions of his inherited power and influence. From a young age, he would have been accustomed to a world where luxury was the norm, where palaces and private jets were simply part of the backdrop of his everyday life. This upbringing undoubtedly shapes his relationship with wealth and his understanding of its role in projecting power and influence on the world stage. Among the many extravagant possessions that grace Prince Mohammed bin Salman's portfolio, the Pegasus 8 yacht stands as a shining example of luxury on the high seas. This majestic vessel, once known as the Princess Mariana, was acquired by the Crown Prince in the summer of 2014, marking his entry into the exclusive world of super yacht ownership. Originally built in 2002 for Mexican billionaire Carlos Peralta, the Pegasus 8 underwent a transformation under Prince Salman's ownership, reflecting his discerning taste and penchant for the extraordinary. The yacht's history is as intriguing as its current owner. Christened the Princess Mariana, she was a symbol of success for Peralta, a prominent figure in the Mexican business world. Her sale to Prince Salman marked a shift in ownership from one realm of affluence to another, further cementing the Pegasus 8 status as a coveted prize among the world's elite. The Pegasus the Eight is not simply a mode of transportation. It's a self-contained world of luxury and leisure. Her amenities read like a wish list for the discerning traveler, offering endless opportunities for relaxation and entertainment. For those seeking tranquility, uh, the yacht boasts a fully equipped spa, perfect for unwinding after a long day of soaking up the sun on the expansive deck. Multiple swimming pools provide ample space for a refreshing dip or simply lounging by the water's edge. A large cinema offers a private screening experience, while a dedicated party deck with a dance floor sets the stage for unforgettable evenings under the stars. And for those who enjoy indulging their culinary cravings, a barbecue area and several bars, ensuring that every gastronomic whim is catered to. Section 3, The Price of Opulence, Maintaining the Pegasus 8. Owning a super yacht like the Pegasus the 8th is not for the faint of heart or the light of wallet. With a price tag of $120 million, she represents a significant financial investment, even for someone of Prince Salman's means. However, the initial purchase price is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the costs associated with maintaining such a lavish vessel. The annual running costs for the Pegasus Fate are estimated to be around $12 million, a figure that encompasses everything from crew salaries and fuel to maintenance and insurance. These ongoing expenses highlight the significant financial commitment required to keep a super yacht of this caliber in pristine condition and readily available for the owner's use. 
a step above opulence. If the Pegasus the 8 represents the pinnacle of luxury yachting, then the Serene, Prince Salman's other prized vessel, occupies a realm of its own. Dwarfing the Pegasus 8 in both size and price, the Serene is a testament to the Crown Prince's penchant for the extraordinary, a floating palace that redefines the very notion of extravagance. Purchased for a staggering 500 million euros, the Serene was originally commissioned by Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Schkeffler for a cool $330 million. Built by the renowned Italian shipyard Fincantieri, with interiors designed by the prestigious British design house Raymond Langton Design, the Serene embodies the epitome of Italian craftsmanship and British sophistication. Indulgence at every turn. Stepping aboard the Serene is akin to entering a world of unparalleled luxury, a symphony of exquisite design and meticulous attention to detail. Raymond Langton Design, known for their ability to create spaces that exude both grandeur and intimacy, has surpassed themselves with the Serene's interior. The yacht's 12 opulent suites, including a master suite, a VIP suite, seven double cabins, and three twin cabins, can comfortably accommodate up to 24 guests. A dedicated crew of 62 ensures that every need is met with the utmost discretion and efficiency, their presence an invisible symphony orchestrating the seamless flow of life on board. The hidden treasures of the Serene. The Serene's allure extends beyond her luxurious accommodations. She houses some of Prince Salman's most prized possessions. Among these is the GSE Trieste Vass 52560 submarine, an all-electric marvel for underwater exploration. This submersible, priced at $2.5 million, offers a unique way to explore the underwater world. The Serene also carries a Eurocopter EC-145 helicopter, ensuring seamless travel to and from land. Mm. Section 4, A Legacy of Luxury, The Serene's Enduring Appeal. The Serene's appeal extends beyond her impressive specifications and lavish amenities. In 2012, she was honored with the prestigious World Super Yacht Award, a testament to her exceptional design, craftsmanship, and overall excellence. This award further solidified the Serene's status as a legend in the yachting world, a vessel that embodies the pinnacle of luxury and innovation. For those fortunate enough to experience the Serene's opulence firsthand, a one-week rental comes with a price tag of $5 million. This exorbitant sum, while out of reach for most, is a testament to the Serene's exclusivity and the unparalleled experience she offers. In 2014, American billionaire Bill Gates reportedly rented the Serene for a family vacation, highlighting the yacht's appeal to even the world's wealthiest individuals. Section 1. Salvatore Mundi. A brushstroke of controversy. From the vast expanse of the open ocean, we turn our attention to a more intimate, yet equally captivating object of Prince Salman's desire. Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi. This enigmatic painting depicting Christ as the savior of the world has captivated art historians and the public alike, not only for its beauty, but also for the controversy and intrigue that surround it. The Salvatore Mundi's journey through history is as fascinating as its subject matter. Its origins can be traced back to the early 16th century, attributed to the hand of Leonardo da Vinci, the quintessential Renaissance man. However, over the centuries, the painting's provenance became muddled, its authenticity questioned, and its whereabouts unknown for periods at a time. It resurfaced in the 20th century, heavily overpainted, and its attribution to da Vinci still debated. In 2017, 
The Salvatore Mundi took center stage at a Christie's auction in New York, an event that would forever etch its place in art history. The auction room buzzed with anticipation as collectors, dealers, and spectators from around the globe gathered, eager to witness the sale of what was billed as the last Da Vinci in private hands. The bidding opened at a staggering $100 million, quickly escalating into a fierce battle between anonymous buyers vying for the privilege of owning this legendary artwork. After a nail-biting 19 minutes, the hammer fell at an astounding $450.3 million, shattering all previous auction records and confirming the Salvatore Mundi's status as the most expensive artwork ever sold. The Salvador Mundi's disappearance has only fueled speculation and intrigue. Some believe that Prince Salman is keeping the painting in a secure location, waiting for the opportune moment to unveil it to the world. Others speculate that the painting is being stored aboard the Serene, transforming the yacht into a floating treasure chest. The mystery surrounding the Salvatore Mundi's whereabouts raises questions about the motivations behind such extravagant art acquisitions. For some like Prince Salman, collecting art is a passion, a way to connect with history and surround oneself with beauty. The acquisition of a masterpiece like the Salvatore Mundi is the ultimate trophy, a testament to one's taste, wealth, and influence. Despite the controversy and the mystery, the Salvatore Mundi remains a source of fascination. Its image continues to circulate, reproduced on posters, postcards, and phone cases, a testament to its enduring allure. The painting story, with its twists and turns, its lost years, and its triumphant rediscovery, reads like a Hollywood thriller captivating audiences around the globe. The Salvatore Mundi's value extends beyond its monetary worth. It represents a tangible link to one of history's greatest artistic geniuses. The painting's enigmatic smile, its haunting gaze, continue to spark debate and inspire awe, reminding us of the power of art to transcend time and ignite our imaginations. While Prince Salman's yachts offer a glimpse into his life on the water, his real estate holdings paint a picture of unparalleled luxury on land. Among his most notable acquisitions is the Chateau Louis XIV, a modern masterpiece in France. Completed in 2011, it set a world record in 2015 for the most expensive residential property sale at $301 million. Conceived as a homage to King Louis XIV, it blends historical inspiration with cutting-edge technology. While the Chateau Louis XIV horn are, embodies Prince Salman's taste for European grandeur, the Al Yamama Palace, his official residence in Riyadh, reflects his connection to his Saudi heritage. Serving as both a private residence and the seat of power for the Crown Prince, Al Yamama seamlessly blends traditional Arabian architecture with modern amenities, creating a space that is both imposing and inviting. Completed in the 1980s, Al Yamama stands as a testament to Saudi Arabia's rapid modernization and its enduring cultural identity. The palace's design incorporates traditional Islamic architectural elements such as intricate geometric patterns, soaring arches, and serene courtyards, while also embracing modern materials and construction techniques. And Continuing our exploration of Prince Salman's palatial residences, we arrive at Erga Palace, a glittering testament to Saudi Arabia's diplomatic prowess and the royal family's commitment to lavish hospitality. Located in Riyadh, this grand palace serves as a primary venue for hosting foreign dignitaries, heads of state, and other esteemed guests, offering a glimpse into the opulent world of Saudi diplomacy. Erga Palace, with its imposing facade and sprawling grounds, 
exudes an aura of power and prestige. Its design, while incorporating elements of traditional Islamic architecture, leans towards a more modern aesthetic, reflecting Saudi Arabia's emergence as a global power broker. The palace's grand entrance, flanked by towering columns and adorned with intricate carvings, sets the stage for the grandeur that awaits within. Section 4. More than just opulence. The palaces as symbols of power and prestige. While the Chateau Louis XIV, Al Yamama Palace, and Erga Palace are undeniably impressive displays of wealth and architectural grandeur, they represent much more than mere extravagance. These palaces serve as potent symbols of Prince Salman's power and influence, both within Saudi Arabia and on the global stage. They are tangible representations of the Saudi royal family's legacy, their wealth, and their enduring hold on power. The palace's lavish interiors, meticulously designed to impress and overwhelm, serve as backdrops for important political meetings, diplomatic negotiations, and state dinners. It is within these opulent spaces that deals are brokered, alliances are forged, and the course of history is often shaped. The palace's grandeur is not merely for show, it is a strategic tool, carefully calibrated to project an image of strength, stability, and influence. Section 1, Taking Flight, the Boeing 747 BBJ. Prince Mohammed bin Salman commands the skies with the Boeing 747 BBJ. This private jet redefines luxury air travel. Custom interiors and state-of-the-art amenities make it an airborne palace. Derived from the iconic Boeing 747, it represents private aviation's pinnacle. Its size and range allow non-stop flights in unparalleled comfort. The Crown Prince is rumored to have several at his disposal. Stepping inside Prince Salman's Boeing 747 BBJ is akin to entering a five-star hotel suite, albeit one that can whisk you across continents at over 500 miles per hour. While the exact layout and design remain closely guarded secrets, we can piece together a picture of its opulence by drawing comparisons to similar aircraft owned by other members of the global elite. Prince Al Walid bin Talal's Boeing 747-400 features a grand dining table, plush lounge areas, and a throne-like chair. The Sultan of Brunei's jet includes gold-plated fixtures and luxurious bedrooms. It's not unreasonable to assume that Prince Salman's 747 BBJ boasts similar, if not even more lavish appointments. The acquisition of a Boeing 747 BBJ with its exorbitant price tag and astronomical operating costs is about more than just convenience or a love of luxury. It's a statement, a bold declaration of power, prestige, and membership in an exclusive club of global elites who operate on a different plane, both literally and figuratively. In a world where time is money and efficiency is paramount, the private jet has become an indispensable tool for business leaders, politicians, and celebrities who need to traverse the globe quickly and discreetly. No more waiting in airport security lines, dealing with flight delays, or enduring the cramped quarters of commercial air travel. The private jet offers freedom, flexibility, and a level of control that is simply unattainable through other means. While the Boeing 747 BBJ is often viewed as a symbol of personal indulgence and extravagance, it can also serve as a tool for diplomacy and goodwill. In 2019, Prince Salman offered his private jet to Imran Khan for a trip to the United States. This gesture carried significant diplomatic weight, highlighting the close relationship between Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. Prince Mohammed bin Salman's world is a testament to the captivating power of wealth. From palatial yachts to private jets, his possessions embody 
ultimate luxury. It's crucial to recognize the cultural and political contexts that shape such displays of wealth. The public's fascination with Prince Salman's lifestyle stems from curiosity and awe. His world represents a realm where money is no object. Yet his story raises questions about the responsibilities of immense wealth. Content and insider insights, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.